Hello and welcome to this special TD Toronto Jazz Festival City of Culture presentation. My name is Josh Grossman, Artistic Director for Toronto Downtown Jazz, and it's my pleasure to introduce today's performance. With the City of Culture initiative, Toronto Downtown Jazz is showcasing Toronto as a cultural destination generally, and a must-see destination for jazz lovers in particular. The series of eight concerts, each featuring a different artist in a different venue, performing an outstanding cross-section of jazz and jazz-related music, highlights some of the incredible musicians whose talent is on display here in Toronto every day throughout the year and on our stages at the annual TD Toronto Jazz Festival, celebrating its 35th anniversary in 2022. Today we're broadcasting from the intimate and very funky Poetry Jazz Cafe, which since 2010 has showcased local, Canadian and international artists performing music and spoken word with an emphasis on the history of these art forms and their roots in black culture. Poetry is housed in Toronto's incredible Kensington Market, whose roots go back to the 18th century. Over the years, the market has become home to immigrants from Eastern Europe, Italy, Portugal, the Caribbean, Latin America, and Southeast Asia, people who both lived and worked here in the market and helped to transform it into what it is today, a richly multicultural downtown neighborhood known for its independent spirit, colorful shop fronts, charismatic locals, family-friendly events, and over 240 unique and eclectic businesses. The City of Culture initiative has been made possible by the generous support of Reconnect Ontario from the Ministry of Heritage, Sport, Tourism, and Culture Industries. We're also grateful for the continued support of our title sponsor, TD, who have stood by us during this challenging time and who have reaffirmed their commitment to supporting live music events across the country. We'd like to thank our hosts here at Poetry Jazz Cafe and our media partners, Jazz FM 91 and the Toronto Star. Today's performer is one of Toronto's leading pianists, well known for his extensive background in jazz and soul-based musics. He has performed and recorded with an impressive cross-section of Canadian musicians spanning everything from jazz and country to soul and disco. As a band leader and an educator, he delves into the relationship between jazz, hip-hop and other black musics, this concept of the jazz gene, the interconnectedness of various styles of music, and it's evident in the outstanding musicians he's assembled today. It's my pleasure to introduce Thomas Francis.
Nice. Hi. Um, over here. Audience, hi. How are you doing? I'm Thomas Francis. We are Thomas Francis Friends. I have JT on the bass, Robin Claxton on drums, uh, and I'm Thomas Francis. This is cool because it's been like a long time. So I'm greeting you and saying hey at like the first the first gig in a long while. And like we're just here to have fun. I hope you have fun with us too. Um, whether you're watching or listening, thanks for joining. Um, we're going to do something else. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Uh, we're going to do a Beatles tune. Andrew, where are you? There you are. Joining us is Andrew McCanch. He's a trumpet player extraordinaire, fantastic human being. He makes the best sauce. <laughs> That's my non <laughs> Yeah, but you know, you know, you know. All right. Um, am I going to, well, actually, you might not notice. Maybe, maybe. Um, this song is called Norwegian Wood. Just a cool take on it.
I think this is the fun part about playing with friends. <laughs> Mistakes and everything, it is actually so much fun. It's rapturous. Oh, gosh. Um, speaking of friends, thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Um, I'd like to invite Joanna Majoko up Ooh. here. Um, so, um, the amazing Josh Grossman talked about the jazz gene. And this is something, like, that's, that was my master thesis from, like, a little while ago. And... <laughs> Essentially what it is is that it's just a foundation that it's like genetics are based off of like two main things You got physical elements and functional elements, right? So I broke it down as a metaphor to mean that the functional elements are more of have to do with like Harmonic and melodic aesthetics and physical being like actual rhythmic aesthetics, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do is try and break down these um, Functional elements not right now. I'll get there, but um, you know I'll describe functional element right now, which is basically that, you know, the basis and foundation of black music, harmonically speaking, have to do with melodies and harmonies. If you have good melodies or stacked melodies that are traditionally black in nature, African in nature, then all of a sudden when you stack them, you know, vertically, you know, it becomes all these neat harmonies and they kind of go across all kinds of genres. So you can actually flip a tune on its head. So something like a Whitney Houston pop tune that's like sparkles and jazz for the club, you know, could actually be scaled back to play in like a place like church, for example. strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade still enough time to figure out how to chase my blues away I've done alright up till now it's the last Yes. 
Let's do fixie. Try your best, you don't succeed. And you get what you want, but not what you need. When you feel so tired, when you can't sleep, stuck in river. Joanna Majoko. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, uh, functional, right? You change up some, um, okay, it's like, it's like, 
if you had a thing like a rose, if I'm quoting Shakespeare, um, a rose by any other name would be would smell just as sweet, right? So same thing, but let's say you called it like instead of a rose, you called it a turtle, or maybe a whatchamahoozit, or um, I don't know, a phone. I don't know. Like, but it's still like physically rose, right? Like you call it something else, it's still gonna s- sound smell awesome. These melodies, they're the same, but you change these harmonies, all of a sudden you get these great things. Minus like, you know, the live touches of errors. <laughs> That's where the fun comes in. Okay. Um, but so now you have this physical element, right? This like actual um, rhythmic touch of things. What happens if you um, make a song faster, if you make it slower, if you add a bunch of 16ths to it, or if you like, you know, take a genre and just like, tack it on top of like let's say we take this whole post jazz idiom and just throw it on like an usher pop tune mm. what's going to happen we'll find out <laughs> oh, all right here we go Situations will arise in our lives, but you gotta be smart about it. Celebrations with the girls I sacrifice, cause I knew you could not be without it. I, 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 I love you, you are my guy. You see, I the world of you will know but baby now you don't have to call it's okay boy i'm gonna be all right tonight you don't have to call it's okay boy i'm gonna be all right tonight oh this same why to the nice would have gonna be smart about it should have Cherish me as a man to friends. Now it's the end, and I knew no story can end without it. Meanwhile, I, I, I love you, you are my guy. I, I, I got the world of you, boo boo. But baby, now you don't have to call. It's okay, boy. Too young of a girl to stay home waiting for love. So tonight I'm gonna do what a single girl does, and that's party. You don't have to call. It's okay.
gonna be, you don't have to go. It's okay, you boy. I'm gonna be alright tonight. You don't have to go. It's okay, you boy. I'm gonna be alright tonight. You don't have to go. It's okay, you boy. I'm gonna be alright tonight. So like I was saying, you can grab stuff across, like you can grab the elements and put them across genres, which is dope. Um, and you get like stuff that sounds like that. That thankfully went great because it's been so long. Uh, <laughs> but you know, like if you're sampling hip hop, like if you're listening to like you know Kanye's Graduation or something like that, right? Like he grabs like an old school sample and then puts like all the stuff on top of it. Meanwhile, as like we take like these melodies and like we put our stuff around it, and it's way more analog, but it's so much more fun. Um, we're gonna do that with another one, and Mr. JT Kim is gonna take, take it away first. <laughs>
Don't you feel the passion ready to explode? What goes on between us? No one has to know. This is a private show. Do you know what you started? I just came here to party. And now we're rocking on the dance floor, acting naughty. Your hands around my waist. Just let the music lay. We're hand in hand, chest to chest. Now we're face to face.
Joanna Majoku, everybody. So Joanna gets to take a break. And I'm switching melody players now. I'm inviting Andrew McCann to come back up. So when I was in school, you know how you do silly things in school? Like, you know, drink, party, yes, stuff like that. I decided to be a dork and make up a new word. I'm not sure if you've ever used this word before. It is a combination of sweet and fantastic. Sweet-tastic. The other day I saw Witch Brown in the hall um, at work and like, he just, he looked, he looked at me and he just said, sweet-tastic, and I died. I died, like, I'm good. Jesus came, took me, <laughs> I'm a happy man. <laughs> he used the word, that's fine. He's borderline avatar, I'm happy with that. You know what I mean? Are you ready? Are you warm? You okay? I'm warm. Okay. Spicy. Spicy. That's right. Jalapeno. Okay. Let's do this song called Sweet Tastic. And this is our second last song. And that was a cue. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Fantastic. Hello again. My name is Josh Grossman, Artistic Director for Toronto Downtown Jazz. And, and fun does not even begin to, to explain what we are having here. <laughs> We're having such a blast at Poetry Jazz Cafe here in Kensington Market. What a fantastic way to celebrate Toronto's incredible jazz scene. I would like to thank Joanna Majoko, Andrew McCanch, JT Kim, Robin Claxton, and of course, our band leader, Thomas Francis, for their incredible, yeah, yeah, for, for an incredible contribution 
uh, to our City of Culture initiative, which has been made possible by the generous support of Reconnect Ontario from the Ministry of Heritage, Sport, Tourism, and Culture Industries. A big thanks, of course, to our title sponsor, TD, our hosts here at Poetry Jazz Cafe, and our media partners, Jazz FM 91 and the Toronto Star. Complete City of Culture information can be found at torontojazz.com, where you can also sign up for our e-newsletter and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And remember, please, support our local musicians. So if you've enjoyed today's concert, purchase their music today. Thanks for tuning in. To wrap up today's performance, it's my pleasure once again to introduce Thomas Francis. Thank you so much. Um, okay. We're all really warm up here, so we're going to cool it down with um, a vibe. We are doing... How I Know we're Waiting in Vain. How I Know. <laughs> Not, waiting. Not Waiting in Vain, How I Know. We're going to do that one first. <laughs> we're going to do that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, right, cool. There's cool, I know. Transition available there. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, okay. And a different key. Um, one... Two, one, two. <laughs> Dream you.
Thank you.